Also in Cairo tonight, police were firing tear gas canisters at demonstrators near Tahrir Square. I spoke to freelance journalist Belle True as events unfolded outside. We were in Tahrir Square today. Tell us what you were seeing. Right now, what we're seeing um, is still several hundred protesters on the streets fighting with the police, as they have been doing since midnight yesterday. Um, recently, in the last 10 minutes, things have actually escalated, as you can probably hear in the background. We're actually standing above the front line, um, where significant amounts of tear gas are being shot at protesters um, with exchanges of rocks. At the moment, the protesters have built a barricade just below us um, and are attempting to fight the police. I don't think this is going to end anytime soon. What are the protesters shouting? What can you hear? What they and if you talk to them, do you know what they're asking for? It's a confusing message, and it has been really because um, since, I mean, the Tuesday protest that initially started um, this whole scene um, was against this inflammatory film, um, as everyone has been talking about, the anti-Islam film, um, and that was a very different crowd. They were ultra-conservative Muslims um, in, in the traditional Islamic uh, dress. Since uh, yesterday, when the clashes broke up, there's a much younger crew. Um, we're looking at possible, possibly um, the, ult the, ultra, the ultras, hardcore football fans. And certainly I've heard um, their traditional chants, their songs. Um, but we're still hearing um, some Islamic undertones to the chants. They've been saying, um, they've been chanting about Prophet Muhammad, about not insulting Prophet Muhammad, interspersed with um, chants against the police and their behavior, calling them thugs. Um, so there's a mixed grievances at the moment. I think people are, are actually quite disappointed with the way that the police have reacted to their protests, and that has also become quite a major issue right now, especially as this is the first major clash we've had since President Morsi took power, and people were hoping there'd be some reform of the police with a new president. So do these protests seem to be organized? No, I mean, I, I don't think there's any, I haven't come across, in, as I was talking to protesters, any specific groups um, who called this. Obviously, in the beginning, um, there was uh, the Salafists calling and there was other Islamic um, groups that had asked people to go to the embassy in um, protest of this inflammatory film. At the moment, we're seeing really sort of disparate youths, predominantly, um, especially as it's quite late now in Cairo, um, who don't seem to have any affiliation to each other. In fact, people actually told me specifically that they weren't part of um, a, of a political group. And how is, finally, how is the government, how is the police, uh, how are they dealing with this? What we're seeing actually is quite similar tactics that were used um, during the Mubarak regime and also during the, the, the military transitional period, um, which is quite heavy-handed uh, use of tear gas, of, of birdshot pellets, um, and also, as I said, throwing rocks at protesters. It doesn't really seem that they actually want to stop the protest or make, or make it more peaceful. They seem to be inciting more um, response from the protesters by being, quite, uh, or, you know, by being quite violent. Other than that, we haven't really had any other uh, direction from the government in terms of how to stop this. Uh, um, President Morsi obviously condemned um, non-peaceful protests, but he continued his travel through Europe and actually hasn't come home, which many have criticized. Um, so, and actually the Muslim Brotherhood, of course, which is the, the president's organization, have organized a massive protest tomorrow in Tahrir against the film, um, which we're hoping will be, will be peaceful, um, unlike the, 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 the clashes that we're seeing right now. But otherwise, um, I, I don't think, I, we haven't seen any real signs of the government trying to stop the fighting. Bell True, a freelance journalist in Cairo, thank you very much. You're welcome.